Hello dear customizator, yes, we are back at the sea and we already did some work on the boat. Yesterday my brother and I painted this nice white line and we painted the bottom of the boat in protective cover that protects your boat from anything that wants to stick on it in the sea. So it's a special coating, it's called copper. And I already mounted the motor in the boat. So if you want to check out how we did it, check out this short video montage. Look at that, two brothers from the same mother and from the same father looking that sleeping track. It also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, say hello to the cam. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. And now with everything painted and protected, we can begin to work on this cooling tube that will go down below, like so. So I made this out of two parts, so I can seal this one to the boat. That's what I'm going to do now. We don't want water to be entering the boat. And for this we are of course using Sika 291i. I need to think what to do about this hole because this screw should go here and we have some sika dripping out of the holes. So the motor is now in place, uh, the water pump is also mounted, all the tubes and the expansion tank right here are connected and now we are going to uh, put the axle on the motor I need to put this piece of metal to secure the shaft from spinning and now my brother here is going to bang it with a hammer 
and we will see now we need a bigger hammer I And now I need to figure out uh, where to connect the 12 volt for the pump for the cooling of the motor and I was thinking about connecting it to this switch which enables and disables the drive but it's uh, only single switch not double like this one so I, I cannot use it maybe if I replace it with a different kind of switch then yes but for now I'm going to connect it to this switch which is free for now it was meant for I don't know maybe music or something else fridge which we don't have so I'm going to use this one and I need to find this wire where it goes down below and then connect the pump to it so this wire should be somewhere around here I need to unwrap all of this to find it So I connected one terminal of the multimeter right here. I set it to make the noise when I touch it like this. And then it makes the noise. And then I just need to puncture the wire with the clamp and I think it's this one. Let's see how lucky we are. Yeah, that's the one, you see? It's making the noise. Make the noise! And now I will cut this wire and reroute it to this bundle. And then it will exit here and it will power the pump. Yes! And now I need to find the ground. And to find the ground, I just set the positive lead to this. That should be positive. And I think this should be ground, the uh, green yellow wire. And I just set it here and it is. So I also need to find this uh, yellow green wire down here. And that would be the ground for the pump. And I think it's right here. And I'm not going to cut this wire, I'm just going to strip the is isolation here and just solder the wire and route it through here to power the pump. Now I have these two wires, route them through here, I'm just going to tape everything back. And I have now connected this to this uh, connector and before I solder everything I'm just going to check if I have power here. I'm just going to flick the switch here, turn it on and then just check it with the multimeter and I should have 12 volts and I do and I think the polarity is also okay red to red black to black yeah and here the outside should be minus and it is and my brother is offering me a, a beer and I will take it oh uh, Oh yeah! Good old Croatian Karlovačko 
Good beer. Sponsor of the boat. Good beer. Shrink them. No, don't die on me now. Come on. And I'm just going to wrap them again with the isolation tape. A little bit more protection. It's always a good thing to have. And now I can finally connect it to the pump. See if it works. Oh, it does. It should not be run without water, so I'm not going to... Now I can return all these protections. So now I got everything connected, the pump has power and now when it's finally done it's time to put some antifreeze into the system. Hope nothing leaks. Yeah, here we see every bit, everything already filling up. And now I think I should turn on the pump. So let's do that. See what will happen. And I have this little potentiometer for the speed. Oh, it's going. It's filling up the system. Now I'll put some water in. And let's fill it up again. Antifreeze. I think that's it. We have water cooling. Let's shoot out the last pieces of air. Ah, there is still air, still some air left. And you can hear the change in sound. I think this means that all the air bubbles are finally out. And now we have a water cooled motor. Can't wait to try it out. And the only thing uh, left to do now is to mount the solar panels and put it in the sea and finally test the motor and everything to see how it works with the new cooling stay tuned